So my wife and I have been married 20 years. Uh, thank you. She is my high school sweetheart. Yeah, we got married in 1998. And in 2002, my mom remarried an American fella known as my father-in-law. <laughs> I couldn't tell who got that first. <laughs> I didn't realize there's a whole bunch of Alabama fans here, so <laughs> roll tide. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. That's all right. So my wife is actually technically, she's my sister. <laughs> I am my own brother-in-law. Which means I call myself if I need help moving. Can you have a movie? I go, so it's my stuff too. We're raising two beautiful nephews. And the safeties are back on the gun, so thank you very much. That's awesome. Okay, he's one of us, man. That's all right. All right. about him for a little while, you know. He said he's Baptist, and I go, okay, we can put it down, but I can keep that safety on. Oh, I'm married to a sister. All right, he go. <laughs> How are we going to deal with this problem right here? <laughs> it's awesome. So uh, my wife is actually here in the audience. I love her so much. She supports my comedy and supports this dream of ours together. Uh, and, and let me tell you how this happens, is we have this king-size mattress, which provides distance. <laughs> right when you first get together you're thinking oh man this is she's hot and he's hot we're hot together this is great but three years into it it's a different kind of hot <laughs> she turns into some I don't know karate master in bed and it's like get up off of me hot <laughs> I just want to cuddle <laughs> it's so bad and I can't even kiss her goodnight. I really can't. Because she's like three barrel rolls away. <laughs> I don't have the core muscles to make that happen. <laughs> I love you. So we just high five it out? to kiss her goodnight, man. I've, I've, I've got to do the whole centrifugal force thing, you know, where you, 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 get, you anchor with the, the headboard with one hand and get that one leg out. Kind of do that hip bump and just start rolling. <laughs> Midway through the first roll, the CPAP goes, nope! <laughs> Those things are great. Who make fun of them, but man, they are useful. They are amazing. Like any time, like you're in the hospital or something and, and they have the lights on all the time. Like I had a back surgery in December, and, which didn't work. But anyway, so I'm in the bed in pain and they're always in there, in and out of there. And so I finally just take the sheet and put it over my head. Cause you know, snorkel, right? <laughs> They don't realize that, though. They just come in, they see the patient has been completely covered. And I finally had some peace and quiet for a few hours. Because I signed a DNR. That's, that's how you get sleep in a hospital. Put your snorkel on, put the sheet over your head. Get some sleep. Actually, the, the one I have is FAA approved. That's awesome. I get on a plane, I'm sitting down, you know, we're getting ready to fly, finally get crunched in there, right? I put on that mask before the flight starts, and the guy next to me is like, uh, what's that? He saw it don't die. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> See you when I wake up, maybe. <laughs> I 
<sighs> I do like to mess with people. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I had this Dodge Challenger 2010 model with the, you know, the, the little thing popped out of the hood. I'm not a big car guy, but I like driving them, you know. It looked cool. It was like a Dukes of Hazzard kind of car. It was all black. And uh, this cop is behind me, and we're at Hardee's, and I'm going through the line. It's like, you know, eight people deep. And we're going around the corner, and every time the car moves ahead of me, I pop the clutch, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just because I can. And the cop is like, yeah, that's cool. And he's right behind me the whole time. I'm doing like eight times. It's like the slowest car chase ever. <laughs> And we get up to the window, and it's like, uh, and she says, hey, we got a problem. We're out of Coke Zero. What you want to drink? I was like, I don't care what you got. Just throw it in the bag fast. I'm getting chased by the cops. <laughs> and she throws my food at me. She says, go, 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 go. <laughs> Those people in South Georgia still talk about that, isn't it? <laughs> I like at Christmas time to go to malls, like a really, you know, the busy mall around where we live, and, and I look for that super spot, you know, the one that's closest to the, the food court that everybody wants, you know. And I'll go there for my lunch break, but I'll go ahead and get some food and uh, just do this on my lunch. And I'll just find the perfect parking spot, pull in, put it in reverse, and just put my foot on the brake and eat a sandwich. <laughs> Pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Move the mirror just so you can see the perfect angle of people driving by. And you'll, it's like fishing, you catch one. <laughs> you get to see him go through all these little levels of, you know, emotions. And, like surprised and elated and confused. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Rage! <laughs> you know? At that point, you gotta let off the brake just a little bit, and they're like, well, finally! <laughs> you, know, and you pull back, and you gotta wave at it, and you pull right back. <laughs> I can get away with it because I'm big, right? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> He's so mad at me. I always make sure my kid was with me in the little car seat when I'm doing it in case, you know, it gets all mad and I'll get out, hey man, how are you doing? And pull the kid out of the car seat. They're like, ah, I can't attack you today. <laughs> that's my, that's, I don't wear, you know, bulletproof vest, I'm just a kid. <laughs> and it's not even a real kid, it's just this doll I have in the travel. <laughs> He's grown now. My oldest child, when he was five years old, uh, man, we had a fun time. We went to McDonald's, and the, the manager was just having a bad day, right? You could tell that. It's like this, you know, gotta take your order. Just, like, just mad. And it doesn't take me any time at all to process, ooh, I'm gonna mess with this person. <laughs> and so there I am, my five-year-old kid. We're trying to get something to eat at McDonald's. And this guy's all mad and ragey. And I said, yeah, I'll take, you know, the big and tasty, whatever meal I was getting that day. And let me ask my son what he wants. And that's gibberish, just so you know, I have no idea. As a small child, when we left Iran, and I never coached him into this. I just thought it'd be funny if I did that. And he looked at me and goes, Just until he hyperventilated, hyperventilated, you know. Finally stopped. He wants a cheeseburger happy little ketchup only. For real? I guess it's a hard language. Okay. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and watch my whole special.